to Take My Money, the show where we find cool and bizarre things on the internet that we'd like to purchase and then wipe the collective drool off the screen. Shut up and take my money. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and there's a Donkey Kong kill screen coming up if anyone's interested. In the latest disaster flick from Happy Madison Productions, Pixels, 80s arcade characters take over the world. Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, Centipede, and Galaga, to name a few. If you're riding the nostalgia train real hard right about now, never fear. This is the haul for the arcade lover in all of us. Color-changing mugs! We love them! They bring just the right amount of fun to the otherwise droll morning, especially when they remind us to eat a healthy breakfast of power pellets. This Pac-Man mug goes from not much going on to full-on mid-level warfare with just a little coffee, kind of like the rest of us. These! I want them! I need them in my house! Check out these handmade Donkey Kong shelves from Etsy user Jen's Cool Stuff. They're three feet in length, made of acrylic, wood, and paint, and are made to order, so any custom requests are welcome. Fantastic, functional, and super unique. It's funny, when we wonder how to catch a ghost, we often think of the Ghostbusters, but rarely ever do we turn to the OG ghost nommer, the Pac-Man. With this mashup tee from artist Neolito, we get the best of both worlds, minus the need for a PKE meter or bonus fruit. He also ain't afraid of no ghost. Take one part recycled telephone wires, one part antique arcade machine parts, a battery, and some blood, sweat, and tears, pop it on your belt, and you have this badass light-up arcade belt buckle from IF Industries. Available in red, green, or blue, the price varies depending on the rarity of the arcade coin slot used. While we're slightly concerned about putting something on your belt that implies you are 25 cents to play, you are wearing a piece of video game history. If a far future civilization uncovered the fossilized remains of video game and movie paraphernalia from today, this is what they might find. Or at least that's the idea behind artist Justin Chase Black's Ancient Prop series. These incredibly creepy yet very cool Space Invaders future fossils are cast in resin and ceramic fillers with a ridged foam center for a natural rock look while only weighing about three pounds. Hand painted, numbered, and signed by the artist. Okay, it's that time, folks. The time when we come across an item so pricey and unique that it's in an entirely different league. These items fall into what we like to call the next level. Remember the life-size Pac-Man game in last year's Bud Light Super Bowl ad? Well, it wasn't just camera trickery. They actually teamed up with Bandai Namco and built the dang thing. Just how pricey was it? They hired world champion roller skaters to be the ghosts, had the company behind the Iron Man suits make the color-changing ghost costumes, crafted 1,500 feet of custom lighting, including touch-activated power pellet lights, not to mention crafting the entire level to scale with the giant coin slot entrance. Total cost? Well, to quote a chief creative officer on the project, enough to buy a few nice houses or one in LA. Yowza. So that's it for this week's episode of Take My Money. Do you have something sitting on your wish list that you'd like to see on a future episode? Let us know in the comments or by tweeting us hashtag EscapistTMM. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and it appears we've reached the 255th level. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and check out Judging by the Cover in Cosplay Closet, would you? See you next week.